problem is that he does that and ends up looking like a baby. I can't really do that. So first of all, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say Namaste, Swagatam, Assalamu Alaikum, Anakam, Mukatawinne. Danza, a night filled with singing, dancing, pina, bendis, and spicy food that would probably lead to diarrhea. <laughs> so, first of all, we start off with an introduction of the countries we in South Asia. How it goes in the population of about 20 million, and it is apparently an, uh, an ultimate tourist destination. It is listed as the number one tourist destination in by the New York Times to travel in 2010. So where is Sri Lanka? Well, Sri Lanka, there is this misconception about Sri Lanka that it's a part of India. Well, it's not. And I would like to uh, clear up this question by saying that it, is, it actually lies in the Indian Ocean and apparently it's called the, the Pearl of the Indian Ocean. It lies in the Indian Ocean and it is separated from the northern part of Sri Lanka and the by a distance of about 50 kilometers. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm very impressed and I'm very interested in seeing a few words about this flag because there two reasons. One, this is one of the oldest flags in the on the face of the earth. This is one of the very oldest flags actually. And number two, uh, the design of this flag has a lot of significance. Uh, for example, the line of the flag represents singularly the race singular and the bowl leaves on the edges of the flag represents singularly the Buddhist Buddhist religion and the orange you can see represents Hinduism and the green one represents uh, the Muslims and also the yellow border represents uh, uh, minority and the minorities and the maroon color border that represents the religious uh, the religious minorities multi-ethnic and a multi-religious uh, nation. Uh, about 70 to 75 percent of the population follow Buddhism, and the rest follow Islam, Christianity, and uh, Hinduism. And also, there are three, basically three uh, ethnic groups, which are uh, the Sinhalis, Tamil, and the Moors. So, uh, but again, uh, about 70 to 75 percent of people follow uh, the single And I would like to hand it off. Because this is one, like generally called the eighth world wonder, and it's one of the seven world heritage sites in India. So this is mostly amazing because it was like built in 447 AD. Uh, during that time, there was like a palace on top of that rock. So uh, these are just a few pictures. Um, so the next picture will show you the famous Zigaria uh, painting. These are known as fresco. Okay, so this next picture is one of the most important places in Sri Lanka. It's very important to the Buddhists. Uh, this is known as Dalada Malika. This is called the Temple of the Sacred Jewels. This is where the tooth relic of the Buddha is kept. So from this next picture, you can see... Um, um, this picture is from one of the most important patterns in Sri Lanka. It's actually... Uh, this pattern is never complete without these elements. So generally these elements are like closely chosen according to one line. Um, okay, never mind. Let's get to the next one. This is Adam Speed. Oh. Okay, this is Adam Speed. Okay, so I'll just rush through it. This is important probably because like, um, there's like a footprint on top of this mountain. Christians and Muslims say it's from Adam. What is say is from Lord Buddha and people say it's from Lord Shiva. Okay, so this final picture is a picture of our Rikiji. So we just put this because this is probably what we are known for internationally. So um, hope you enjoy this introduction and hope you can come and visit Scott. We want to call our kids to be nothing to do but not this year. When we say we are from Bangladesh, people think it's India, but actually it's a different country. It's surrounded by India, but this is Bangladesh. 
It's not Indian. Guy of Bangladesh. The green color represents the greenery of our country, and the red color represents the blood shed by all the people who sacrificed their lives in the war. It was formed in 1971, which was just 41 years ago. We're the we used to be a part of Pakistan. Our country was called East Pakistan. But then we separated from them after a terrifying war. The official language is Bangla. So we are the only country who fought for our language. That's why 21st February is celebrated as the National Language Day. Yeah, so now we'll introduce Mr. Bhatt or Bhatt 